ready for a celestial treat this Friday. The sun, earth and moon will align to form a total lunar eclipse. Astro Bob is here with what we need to know. Thank you for coming. Well, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely. Wonderful. I hear this might be one for the night owls and we're going to get to that. But first, yes. I just want to know what is what is happening in the night sky when we have a lunar eclipse? Exactly what you said. You okay. have the sun. Would mm -hmm. you? Can we demonstrate? Let's do a demo. We can do a demo. <laughs> if you would take on the role of the sun, I shall be the Earth, and this softball. I have will rays be, coming I out. I see the rays. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't the antlers. Moon. These are sun rays. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the the okay. sun is shining on the mm -hmm. Earth. I'm casting a shadow. Mm -hmm. Here comes the moon and its orbit around the Earth. Yep. Here it is. Okay. Falls Go. right into the shadow. Ah. And when it goes into the shadow, you might think it would disappear in the shadow. Right. But it does not because there's an atmosphere around me. I mm -hmm. hope it's a pleasant one. Mm -hmm. I'll an, always buy. There's an atmosphere, <laughs> and the sunlight shines through the Earth's atmosphere, kind of leaks through it. It gets bent like uh, a prism. Sure. And it focuses the red light of sunlight into the shadow cone. So when the moon arrives in Earth's inner shadow called mm -hmm. the umbra, mm -hmm. it turns orange or red, or some people call it the blood moon. Yeah, so I was hearing about the blood moon and I was looking at some photos and they do really have a, it does really have a reddish tint to it. It does. You can see it with the naked eye. Very much, okay. and it's one of the highlights of the eclipse is seeing that, and it can vary, by the way. Mm -hmm. It can be yellow, it can be orange mm. or red, depending upon the state of the atmosphere. Oh. The best description I have heard of the moon in shadow during yeah. an eclipse is red hot penny. That's what it looks like. It sort of has a brownish reddish hue to it. So yeah. very beautiful sight. Cool thing happens when the moon goes into the shadow. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody turning off the light. You know how the moon is, is so glary yes. when it's full? Yes. When the moon's in the shadow, the light's it gone, all the stars come back. It's uh -huh. a beautiful, it's a very slow, majestic transition to right. darkness. Right. And then it comes back to light again if you stay up for the whole eclipse. Right. So when can we do? When can we see it? Give me the the time frame. Friday morning is yes. the date. So that would be Friday, March 14th. Okay. And the eclipse begins the partial phase when it ducks into the darker inner shadow. Yes. 12:09 a.m. So midnight 09. Midnight 09. <laughs> <laughs> There's. You're not getting any breaks on this one. Oh, the moon man. slips fully into the shadow mm -hmm. at about 1.30, 1 1.26 1 to okay. be exact. And yep. it sits there, moves through the shadow for about an hour. So from 1.30 to mm. 2.30, totally eclipsed. So you have an, an hour window. You got an hour window see of seeing it in total. And then it begins to move out and the eclipse is over at about quarter to four. So okay. it's a very slow, long event. Right. Uh, you can decide to sort of, I tell people if you want to see a little bit of the partial and then the beginning of the total, yeah. to start looking at around 1.15 okay. to 1.45, mm -hmm. right there, right around 1.30. And you'll see that, that light switch transition. you'll see that transition. switch transition between okay. partial and total. One Very other good. thing, if we have a moment. Yes, please. The weather does not look fantastic no, it doesn't, at the it moment. Yeah. Uh, it's better to the south of us. Uh, okay. Some people will drive to see the eclipse. Mm -hmm. But we have a spacecraft, a lander on the moon right now yes. called the Blue Ghost. Are you familiar with no, that? No, I am not. I like its name. It's a great name. It's named <laughs> after a firefly, actually. Oh, but neat. But <laughs> this landed on March 2nd, private company. Okay. It's doing research there, but it's going to be photographing the eclipse from the other side. Oh, Can you imagine so what it looks like from the other side? It will be side? looking back at Earth. Looks at Earth. The Earth oh, will neat. be silhouetted against the sun mm. in total solar eclipse. Mm. And it's going to be taking pictures. So I hope to see, we hope to see photographs oh, I can't fairly wait. soon after that. So even if it's cloudy, there's some exciting things happening. So if you were on the moon, you would experience it in the opposite way because the Ex sun would be on the other side. You would be standing, you would see the blackened earth. Right. It would be surrounded by the red glowing atmosphere right. like a ring of fire. And then beyond that, the sun's atmosphere, the corona. Okay. And all around you, the landscape would glow this dull red hue. Oh, man. Got to be there someday. If I yeah. <laughs> Some astronaut's going to see it. Some, <laughs> so, well, I mean, so, why not you, Bobby? I wish, I wish. Is there a ticket anywhere I'd go? <laughs> Hop on a few rockets. You only need many more millions of dollars, I think, to, yes, I to think be so. able to do that. But, well, thank you for coming for this 
astronomy for everyone little little mini class for us today. well thank you for having me i, I hope you it. get to see it well and i hope uh, other viewers too maybe there are yeah. people listening who are kind of on the edge of the clouds mm -hmm. and then it's always good to maybe set the alarm and look anyway because we mm -hmm. often will get a break in the clouds even mm -hmm. when the forecast isn't exactly optimistic right, right. yeah we'll cross our fingers all righty <laughs>